today we will cover uh, monitor pattern or uh, synchronization pattern uh, first we will see the explanation of uh, monitor design pattern or synchronization design pattern uh, this is the explanation uh, in concurrent programming a monitor is an object or model intended to be used safely by more than one thread uh, we will see the second explanation the defining characteristic of uh, monitor is that its methods are executed with mutual exclusion that is at each point in time at most one thread may be executing any of its methods okay we will see one example so then we will uh, come and uh, read this sentence again so that you will understand uh, clearly uh, here you can see HDFC bank account and uh, in that uh, HDFC bank account uh, uh, the balance uh, balance is uh, thousand rupees and this uh, HDFC bank account is shared by two people. One is uh, John, another one is uh, Tina. Tina is uh, wife of uh, John. So uh, this HDFC bank account is shared by both of them. Okay. So both of them can uh, withdraw money from this HDFC bank account. Okay. And uh, here you can see hfc bank account uh, which is a class and uh, this class has uh, one method and it, uh, the method is uh, withdraw and uh, you can see uh, int amount okay so suppose uh, john or tina wants to uh, get some get some amount from this particular hfc bank account then they have to pass the amount suppose uh, say they are passing uh, 500 then first condition it will check is um, amount greater than zero yes the 500 is greater than zero and then it will check the balance is less than amount so balance is thousand and amount they are passing is uh, 500 so it is the balance is not uh, less than uh, 500 so thousand is not less than 500 so it will come to the else block and uh, uh, it will uh, uh, minus uh, 500 from the thousand and it will return true so 500 rupees uh, they can withdraw so like that this method is written suppose uh, uh, suppose they are passing 1500 then uh, here it will fail balance is 1000 amount is 1500 it is uh, less than uh, 1500 so it won't allow to return so this will return uh, false so this this is the functionality of uh, this method okay now uh, say uh, we have uh, one uh, HDFC bank account which has uh, thousand rupees and it is shared by uh, two people. Uh, one is John, another one is uh, Tina. Okay. Now uh, John, John say he uh, it is a thread uh, A. Okay. Now uh, this thread A accessing this uh, method uh, withdraw method and uh, the thread A which is John. Uh, trying to withdraw thousand rupees uh, from this account so it will come here precondition it will check thousand rupees is greater than zero then it will come here and it will check uh, balance balance is thousand less than the amount is thousand so this condition is uh, not uh, not true so it will come to the else part okay so once the thread A reaches this else part, that time uh, the thread A, okay, uh, uh, it will allow the thread B to execute. Okay, uh, it preempted uh, thread A, thread B to exec uh, execute uh, the withdraw method. So thread A in the uh, sleeping uh, mode. Then uh, at the same time thread B comes and. Uh, uh, thread B Tina also trying to withdraw thousand rupees at the same time so it will come here uh, uh, so the thread A came to this one so it uh, didn't reduce any balance okay so till it is thousand rupees is there so amount so this condition will pass because thousand rupees they are passing the thousand is uh, greater than zero then balance is uh, still it is thousand so uh, ba balance less than amount uh, no so it will come to else part then uh, thread b uh, thread b red, um, uh, thread b uh, what it will do is uh, balance equal to balance minus amount so thousand rupees minus thousand zero then it will return true and the tina takes thousand rupees from the 
HDFC bank account. Okay, so now balance is zero because thread B the Tina has uh, withdraw some amount from this one, and thread B finishes job and it allow uh, thread A to execute. Thread A was in this position. Okay, before uh, it al it allowed thread B to execute. So it will come and uh, now the balance is zero because the Tina has already took money from the account. So zero minus uh, thousand, then it will become minus uh, thousand rupees. So both took some uh, th uh, minus thousand rupees, and uh, it allow uh, John also took some amount uh, amount from the account. So both took thousand rupees from the uh, HDFC bank account, but the balance is only thousand. Third day, John also took thousand rupees. Tina also took thousand rupees. So two thousand rupees they would draw. That is not correct, right? Uh, because balance is thousand, so uh, Tina and John only can take thousand rupees from the HDFC bank account because of uh, uh, that thread A and thread B simultaneously enter into that uh, withdraw method. Uh, both took thousand uh, rupees and uh, it screw up the uh, enter uh, bank account uh, balance, right? So. So this is not correct. So how to avoid uh, this problem? So how to avoid this problem is uh, only one thread can access the uh, this withdraw method. Till that uh, thread finishes the work, we should not allow other thread to uh, call this uh, method. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to introduce synchronization. So here we have to put synchronization. Synchronized uh, method. We have to make this method as synchronized. So once you make this method as synchronized, then once thread A comes to this withdraw method, and till the thread A finishes the job, uh, it won't allow thread B or uh, Tina to call this withdraw method and uh, get some amount from the bank account. Okay. So in this way, we can uh, we can. Uh, Prevent two thread access the uh, withdraw method at that same time. So in this way, we can uh, avoid uh, uh, avoid the problem which we were facing earlier. Like uh, only thousand rupees, but uh, both thread entered and uh, withdraw thousand thousand. So it screwed up the balance. Okay. Now if you read this uh, sentence, uh, you will understand. In concurrent programming, a monitor is an object or model. Intended to be used safely by more than one thread. So in this case, HDFC bank account is an object or model. It should be uh, used safely by more than one thread. So how we can uh, make safely is uh, put synchronized uh, uh, synchronized keyword uh, so that the method will be synchronized so that only one thread can access the uh, withdraw method at any point of time. Okay. And now if you read the second sentence, you will understand uh, very clearly. The defining characteristic of uh, monitor is that its method are executed with mutual exclusion. Uh, that is, at each point in time, at most one thread may be executing of its method. So already we have seen. So once you put synchronized, only one thread can access this method. Till the thread uh, finishes the job, other threads has to wait. So in this way, we can avoid uh, issues. And uh, this is about uh, monitor or synchronization uh, design pattern. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.